What's up guys, it's Coach Bryant here and today I'm going to be showing you guys the new DeQuincy roster and what's going on and everything. Um, so far it's been kind of a rough year. Um, we're 1-3. and three. Last year we went 10-2. and two. So I mean it's been a really rough year. See there the losses. Uh, against Central Con State I only called like the first quarter of offense and then after that I just stopped because nothing was going right like literally it'd be like third and one false start or like holding or something like that like nothing was going right and I'm gonna show you guys my main problem or uh, our main problem right now is the quarterback positions you can see here nobody's really like that great um the biggest thing we're worried about right now is our quarterback spot. We don't have like anybody uh, like good at all. So uh, our best quarterbacks probably, as far as like passing, is Nelson. But Horner fits our offense the best because we we run the wishbone a lot, as you can see right here. All the plays we have made, boom, wishbone a lot. Um, I've been like designing some plays on, you know, quarterback sweeps and stuff and just like all this sort of new stuff to try and see like how our offense works and everything and how all this stuff fits in with our offense, but nothing's been like working that good so far. So it's been kind of tough, but, uh, running games really, really strong, um, Passing game is weak. Um, let me show you the stats real quick. So far this year, four games in the season, we're getting destroyed. Um, we are at the bottom of our conference, which is like almost never happening, but it is this year. So yeah, let me show you uh, Carlton's plays. His highlight reel. Um, I mean, it's been like. Our rushing has been fine this year, so our passing has been really, really bad. Like, not just, like, a lot of, like, just incompletions down the field. Like, it's been, like, two-yard passes being incomplete and stuff. Like, it's been really, really bad. It's been awful, actually. Um, We just, like, this one play called Scatter, we just, like, dump it off to our tight end. And, like, some of our quarterbacks can't even complete that. The ones that do, it's sometimes they barely even complete it. It's crazy. Like, it's so annoying because, I mean, you expect your quarterback coming out of high school to at least be able to throw, like, a two-yard pass. But they can't even throw that sometimes. That's kind of bad. Not too good. But, I mean, sometimes you just got to work with what you got. So, that's what we're trying to do, but so far, as you can see, it's not working too well. Been kind of, kind of a bad year. Um, yeah, that's all I can say. This year has been super tough. The our biggest, biggest part about it that's different is quarterback. It's the only thing we're having trouble with. Everything else is fine. But, uh... I mean, as you can see here, this is only one of our running backs. Probably our best one or second best one. We have this one athlete that uh, was a four-star, I believe. He's a freshman. His name is Nesbitt. He was a 76-rated running back. But he, like, he's not good. Like, it, I don't know, his elusiveness is, like, A+. Plus, but I feel like that's, like, too elusive, like, He'll have a wide open hole, but then like start juking and stuff and all that. And it's like he only gain he barely gains any yards. I mean, it's still good, but we change his position to uh, outside linebacker. And that's Carlton's highlights. Um, let's go ahead. I'll show you the Nesbits now, just to show you guys. Like he doesn't even have that many like highlight big runs. He just kind of like. He's ran the most. That's why he has the most yards. Actually, I want to show you Rose next. Because Rose is a sophomore. And he's, he doesn't even have 
that great of ratings, but he is like he's good. Like he's actually good. Actually really, really good. It's surprising. Hold on, let me fix this real quick. There we go. Now it should be fixed for you guys can see like the entire screen. See he's not even a star rating. Like this dude's good. <laughs> I mean, Rose has probably been our most effective running back. Him and Carlton. Nesbitt was good, but he didn't like, I don't know. I feel like the plays that he should make, that we expect him to, he doesn't. And, uh, I mean, that kind of sucks, but that's what happened. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just been a tough year, really. We've been trying to make new plays to try and get our offense to work even better, but nothing's been working like you can see well in some of the highlights we'll have like Blumberg in then we'll have Nelson then we'll have Horner it's like it's nothing can work right it's like no quarterback is doing good for us just nothing like and then we have this other guy he's a freshman uh, Maurice Johnson he was another athlete he was a three-star athlete I believe that we got and he is oh he's a four star athlete. Four star athlete that we got and he's been he's actually been doing really, really good for us. Um he hasn't played too much, but he's done really good on the runs that he's actually gotten a chance on. So we'll probably end up putting him in more. Um I mean it seems like our running backs, Nesbitt was like, he was like a, uh, a bust. He's good at linebacker, really, really good at linebacker. He actually fits there. And then Carlton's good. He's a senior. And then we have good sophomore and freshman. But biggest hit is a quarterback. Hopefully we can actually try and recruit to get a quarterback. And if we can't get one, then we'll probably have a tough year next year. But we may actually be leaving De Quincey after this year. Um, depends on how the year kind of pans out. Because, I mean, yeah, we should, like, I don't have enough hours. Dang. We should, like, stay here we've got a lot of good players here but I mean it's kind of we kind of shouldn't just because like we're starting to do bad and then our we said on well, me I say me and my granddad because like, we play together this is my main coach and Mario Vale is his but uh like I mean it's our stats are getting good these are mine I'll show you his our stats are getting pretty good and they're like in there with the middle tier division one stats but I mean we should like I don't know we should be doing better than we are but we're not and I have no idea why some part of it though is like in real life problems like I've been sick he's been sick we haven't been able to do as much like work on this stuff and everything but then also it's just like some of the stuff is just like dumb like our players uh, our safety uh, burner the one that's hurt he's questionable right now uh, in like the second game of the season I think it was the second game is it the second hold on let me check the sec third game of the season he was uh, they would run the option right Whenever they did, he would be, he wouldn't even, like, chase the guy with the ball. He would just, like, guard the guy. He, he would, like, back up with a wide receiver instead of, like, going after the ball. And he wasn't getting blocked. He was, like, backing up with the wide receiver. So it was kind of dumb. So, I mean, some of the stuff we can't really, like, can't, we can't 
can like fix like that we can't fix but I mean hopefully today we play against Fairlay Dixon two hours and 58 minutes probably be live streaming that uh, they are three and one overall the only team they lost to was Mount St. Mary's and they are two and two so hopefully we can beat them they do have a head coach now who is pretty good so I mean we'll see how this goes he was the offensive coordinator there last year and now he's a head coach or not last year a couple years ago and now he's a head coach here and then he just got a new defensive coordinator so I don't know if they'll both be at the game or if only one of them will be at the game so far attending the game has their head coach down I know that yeah their head coach um only reason I can't attend the game is because of that I uh, accidentally practice too much and I can't attend the game now hopefully we can win though I really expect to win tonight cause we need one bad as I said we're starting off really 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 bad one in three tough year and uh, show you the rankings right now on how everything is going down in division two we uh I don't even think we're receiving votes anymore. Let me check. Are we? Yeah, we are. Receiving 33 votes still in. So, hopefully we can uh, actually um, start winning some. I'd love to do that. And hopefully we can get into some of these schools right here. Probably not Alabama, but... Um, I know we can get into Arkansas, Mississippi State, and Vandy. Let me see how Vandy's doing, actually. They beat Kentucky. That's kind of expected. Alright, anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Remember to like the video, comment, subscribe. Uh, leave your feedback in the comment section on what you think of this series. And see ya.